Hello, I'm Maris. This is Game Request. Welcome back. We're going to take a look at a game called Lost Brothers. do want to thank the devs for giving me a copy of it to check out. Um, right now, we're at our camp. We have to find our walkie-talkie, and I hear it around. Um, while I look for that, like the video and subscribe to the channel. So let's see here. Up oh, there it is. Okay. So pretty much the premise of this story is, I, I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Oh, hold on. Hey, can you hear me? Who is there? Hi, I got trapped in the cave. Help me, please. Th what? Just stay calm. My name is John. Who are you? And where are you exactly? I'm Samantha. I'm in the old mine. I can't get out of the cave. No, the noise was coming from the other side of the forest. Whoa, don't panic. I'll grab my bag and go look for you. All right, so a couple things I have noticed in playing this game is that some of the... Um, it looks like some of the like chat and things like that, messages and thoughts, is timed or triggered by where you walk. So if you backtrack, you'll trigger the conversations again, things like that. Um, so getting back to kind of sort of the premise if you've heard of missing 411s especially the state forest ones what's this hey sam where are you exactly there are people that go inexplicably missing the mine is in the northwest i hope you have a map and a compass i'm just following the path oh sure thing okay so this family used to go camping every year Okay. Okay, yeah. Just follow the path. And, you know, as the kids get older, things like that, they go to go camping, and, you know, they're adults. I think they're fresh out of high school or college, something like that. Dad breaks his leg, can't go with him, the mom won't leave him alone, so the brother and him go. Um, all right. We'll do any new, anything new? Anything new? Luckily, nothing. I'm lying looking out into the dark. So, you and your brother come and, you know, you're picking on each other, jabbing at each other, stuff like that. You set up the camp, things like that. So, it's night, the fire goes out a little bit, and you go to put some sticks in. Sticks that your brother got turn out to be wet, can't use them, got to go look around, you realize he's not in his tent, guess he went for the bathroom, so you start calling for him, and guess what, you find his backpack, a shoe, can't find him. Fast forward 10 years, authorities can't find him, everything like that. Fast forward 10 years, which is where we are now. So we're 10 years in the future, he's back at the campsite that they used to go to. Oh, missed that one. And... You know, he's camping, chilling out, stuff like that. Obviously, he got a message on his walkie-talkie he wasn't expecting, so here we are. Now, I don't feel like this is a short game, because I already almost played the entire game. Um, you know, it's more of a story, a walking simulator, I guess, but it definitely is very story-driven. You know, you're finding stuff, exploring stuff. There, There's some funky stuff that goes on in this. It's a little unsettling. You find some stuff in the mine, and it's like, why is this here? Well, what is this doing here? It's like, is this the reason people are, are missing? Because we're going to actually find out that um, this girl, Sam, that we're going to save is a journalist. And there's over 100 people missing in this area. My brother being one of them. So eventually you explain what happens, stuff like that. So, I guess she thinks the cave has something to do with it? But like I said, there's some crazy stuff in the cave, and it's like... Hmm. Is this some sort of, like, government thing or something? Like, hmm, you know, well-oiled, like, old machinery, but well-oiled, taken care of. You know, just the kind of stuff that's, you're like, eh. I'm not so sure I like this. Let's find out more. It's one of those things. You always get into the games. I think we're still going good here. Oh, yep, yep, yep. It looks like... Do you have enough air to breathe? 
Where did that come from? Oh, all right. So that was Jonathan that was supposed to say that, not Samantha. Let's say poor thing. Complete darkness. It's hard to explain the darkness here. Special. It's alive. I think they're... Yeah, I'm just gonna not read it. Like I said, it's a. I don't. Th I don't think English is the first language, so it feels a little disjointed. Oh, here we go. Let's auto crouch here. Tell you what, the movements are great though. I kind of also enjoy the. I guess you could say the color palettes of things. It's like each of the areas has a particular color palette that like associate, you associate with it. Okay. So. Well, I have good and bad news. Where to start? From a good one. All right. I found a map. Why am I moving? Hooray. And what's a bad one? Alright, so let's... Oh. Well, that's not good. And sector B. I don't know where your sector B is. This is no go. Can we... Nope. Nope. Hmm. Okay. So. Let's go this way. John, I'm so lucky you were nearby. So lucky. Alright, so this. I'm going to tell her about my... Looks like there is some graphical issues going on here. I do have to say this, though. There was just an update. So, it's possible that's what it is. We'll just put thanks. Let's get that pickaxe. And. All right. Boink. Up, oh, just once. Yay! Tally ho. Okay. Now, like I said, this cave gets a little. It's a little crazy. All right. Okay. Are we in the crazy portion yet? I don't think we're in the crazy portion. Look at the size of this thing, though. Like, what is going on? Like, I understand. But, like, seriously. And they're having a conversation, like I said, that, uh... They found that, uh... You know... Right. There we go. Okay. I mean, look at the, this thing. This is like a serious mind. Serious mind work here. Um. Yeah. Like, look at this. Oop, 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 oop. I'm stuck. Like, what's with this machine works down here? Why? Yeah, like, like John just said, like, they're in good condition. They're working. Like, I think I have to turn this on. How do I turn this on? Up, oh, up, oh, there we go. Okay. 
my generator is started. I think I'm going the right way. I think I need to go this way. Yes. Yes. Maybe. We're all nice and lit up. Looking good. Again, the color palettes are, are fun in this game. The way they did... It's very artistically done. You know, you're in the cave. You have the red rock, the purple, and then, like, these splashes of green, like this mushroom or that gem right there. Those gems right there. Just little... Little dribs and drabs here. It's almost like a... I want to say it gives it a feel of, you know, when you go into an area, you'll see like a color palette and then like you might see like a splash of a certain other color and then you'll see more of it and then all of a sudden you'll be in that color palette. Nothing here. Quite well done, actually. I like games that have that, like, style of artistic direction. So these are blocked. That is a no-go. Only one way to go. Let's drink some tea. Let me turn myself here. How's it going? Literally perfect. Don't worry, ma'am. I don't want you to fall. I don't want to fall either, to be honest with you. I, uh... I, yeah. Madam. Oh. I think we fell. I think we fell. Yes, indeed, we fell. And again, different color palette altogether. Look at that. There's that tie-in blue-green. And now we're in a whole different area. All right. So he says she mentions a lake. I don't ever remember seeing a lake thing, but that's fine. Look at this craziness. So now we're into, like, purples and oranges and yellows and things like that. And, and like I said, we're going to come up on... There's some of those blue guys back there. Could you imagine falling into a place like this? Like, I mean, the, as far as the girl goes, she does have a point. Because, like, if she knew about this cave and there's been, like, 100 people missing, it's like, it is very possible that this is the reason. I mean, but what's been going on down here that it looks like this? Or did it always look like this and we're using it? Because there's machines. So. I've spent here about a week. I was starving, but then I started eating mushrooms. I managed to cook it. I have a Zippo. This world is larger th than I thought. I am looking for the way out, but I still haven't done it. I found some constructions. Somebody lived here or some people? Can they still be here? If only I meet them. I miss home. I want to get back. So, there's that blue. I think the water's green. Yeah, the water's an eerie green. Found a note. I presented him with a Zippo for his birthday. Okay. Like, I wonder if, like, he turned into, like, a mushroom person. Uh, what was that game? Stranded, was it? I think it was called Stranded, where you play as a young girl whose brother's very sick and you're trying to, um... It's a city that's, like, half submerged and you're, like scaling walls and things like that to get him medicine and there's this like mushroom looking people around and like they slowly help you and you realize that from helping your brother and stuff like that you're turning into that so I'm wondering if like how will we get out of here I don't know how we're getting out of here I see another paper though fog got thicker in the north. Maybe it's pressure to... Well, I mean, that's a good point. Alright. 
some good news at last. I, uh, if this says mushrooms have started to sprout out of my skull, that's, uh, I'm gonna be like, you know, peace out. I'm not sure what the day today, but it must be Christmas soon, maybe in a week or right today. I'm still here. I built a house and found some food, mushrooms and nuts. I also found a spring nearby. At home, they must be preparing for Christmas. I bet John doesn't want to decorate the tree. He usually forces me to do it, but this year, what are they doing this year? I would better decorate all the trees in the world than to sit here underground. There are even no trees here. How long has this kid been down here for? One more page, okay. Half a year. Whoa. Whoa. So are we gonna find his house? Or a house? Or he was saying constructions are down here too, like where are these constructions? Oh, another note. Dun, dun, dun. The plot thickens. Jog a little. You don't have too much stamina, but like I said, this is generally a wa story-driven walking sim. So... Today I found a skeleton. It was wearing old black workwear. He died so many days ago that he was covered with moss. Will I die the same way? What does this say, though? The world here is amazing. There's no sun here. It's a cave. Sometimes it gets darker. Oh, that's the, that's the first one. Won't let me pick it up. That's fine. Another note. He's got moss on the dead bodies. That's crazy. So, like, I wonder how many workers were lost down here in the mine. Today I found a cave full of skeletons. I'm scared. Sam mentioned skeletons. It's like a graveyard. Didn't you find any articles on that? No, I can't remember any settlements nearby. Oh boy, there's a bridge. The nearest one was miles away, but that doesn't mean there's... I've just... Oh, just... But wait, I've just recalled some rumors about Sabbaths. Witches from all over the USA come here. Are you superstitious? No. No, knock on wood. Why? Tell me more about it. In the 18th century, European witches moved to the USA. They were looking for a place for Sabbaths, and finally they found some caves in Oregon. Or a cave in Oregon. The energy there was enough dark for them. They met two times, but after the third, they all disappeared. Oh. Oops, oops, oops. Pleasant. Real, real pleasant. All right, let's get up here. I've just seen a silhouette. Is it you? What? 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 Where'd you see the silhouette? What? I'm still here under the rocks. I can't move. Who could it be? What if it was Sam? I really don't want to hurt you, but I don't believe that he could be still alive. Even if the diary you keep finding is really belong, belong to him. How long has he been living here? Ten years? Yeah, you're probably right. Ooh. Let's turn my light on here. 
looks like a car toy. The food is fresh. Someone was here a little while ago. Judging by the pile of firewood, the owner was going to spend here many days. Hmm. So this seems like a good part to leave it. Let us linger thinking about what's going to go on. But definitely a different storyline. Um, that is kind of freaky, like those missing peoples and stuff like that. That That is like, I feel bad for those people. That is very scary. You don't really get to play as a character that has a family member missing in one of, like I said, like those missing 411 um, situations. So it is real refreshing to see it. But, like, just look at the craziness, though. Like, there is something wonky going on. I couldn't imagine falling into a place like this. I wonder if we're going to be doing some jumping later. But, I mean, craziness. Again, great color palette. Artwork has been pretty wild. It's, you know, simple. It's well done. Again, the color palettes are great. If you like walking sims and are interested in this, like, missing persons, you know, well, it turns out it's over 100 missing people, I would definitely check this one out. So thanks for watching. Again, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to donate, go to GamerQuest.tv slash donate, and I will see you on the next video.